integrity, and trust. These are not just words. They are the very foundation of our faith and leadership. When J.D. Vance speaks out, it's not just about throwing accusations. It's about challenging the very character of those who hold power in a time when trust in the system is already hanging by a thread. The reaction to his remarks is more than a political maneuver. It's a reflection of a deep, simmering anxiety about honesty and leadership. The ripples of these accusations could very well shake the political futures of both Tim Walls and Kamala Harris, casting long shadows over their careers. Now, Kamala Harris, she gets really mad when I bring up the stolen valor of her running mate. But let me tell you why it matters. Every single person here understands why this matters. Here's the record on Tim Walls, the governor of Minnesota. He dropped out of the military and allowed his unit to go to Iraq without him. And he knew they were going to Iraq. He lied about it, but he knew they were going to Iraq. Even his chaplain called him a coward. And those of you who served in the military know the chaplain is the nicest person in the unit. If the chaplain is calling you a coward, you must have really screwed up. He claimed to carry a weapon in war. We ask him, Tim, what war have you ever been in? And the answer is he's never been to a single war. He lied about it. He lied about his rank. And he stood in silence as Nancy Pelosi and a lot of journalists praised him for his service on an imaginary battlefield instead of correcting the record. What won't stolen valor Tim Waltz fib about? In fact, I believe at his next speech, he's probably going to say he survived an assassination attempt in Pennsylvania. I think that's what Tim Waltz is going to claim next time. Now, look, we, we don't criticize, and this is where the media is dishonest. We don't criticize Tim Waltz for his years of service in the National Guard. We condemn him for lying about that service for political gain. It's disgraceful, and nobody should tolerate it. The values of military service, honesty, and personal responsibility run deep in the American heart. That's why J.D. Vance's condemnation of Tim Walls strikes a chord. It's not just a critique. It's a call to uphold the integrity that the public holds dear. The notion of stolen valor is more than offensive. It's a profound betrayal to those who honor and cherish military sacrifice. Vance's criticism resonates as a necessary stand to protect these sacred values. On the other hand, Kamala Harris's anger at these accusations doesn't just seem defensive. It could be perceived as an attempt to sidestep an uncomfortable truth, further fueling conservative concerns about the accountability and responsibility that true leadership demands.